Hello, I'd like to read you a short passage from a video by Simon Webb, The Patriotic Alternative and the Trial of Sam Melly in Leeds. This is from about eight minutes and 23 seconds to eight minutes and 44 seconds in it. To it. A quick look through my own bookshelf would cause many people to reel back in shock. I mean, to give one example, I'm a fervent supporter of the Ergen, a resistance group in enemy-occupied Israel. So I've got books by Menachem and Begum that those alone would be enough for many people to turn away in horror. Strangely enough, Mr. Webb this morning told us about the shock and horror of the leader of the SMP being fond of Islamist groups. Yet he has here in a video all about a month ago, if I remember, a month and a week or something like that, uh, identified him as himself as a supporter of a group that was identified as a terrorist group that, opposing the British. And he's used the phrase enemy occupied Israel. Who was this enemy occupying Israel, Mr. Webb? Are we talking about the Arabs? Are we talking about the British? Are we talking about both? For those not familiar with the Ergon, I don't intend to turn this into a gigantic history lesson, as you would get quite bored, I think. But here's some things that they were involved in. The King David bo Hotel bombing. And this is um, uh, someone reflecting on it 70 years later, historian Professor Mordecai Galani. As the name might clue you in, the professor is Jewish himself. 70 years after the pre-state of Israel Ergon underground militia blew up the King David Hotel in Jerusalem, killing more than 90 people, historian Professor Mordecai Galani called the attack an act of terror that stained our history, leaving it scarred. Speaking at a conference held on Friday at the Yitzhak Rabin Centre in Tel Aviv, Galani, an expert on the history of the British mandate, added that the acknowledgement should be twofold. We must bow our heads once for the innocent men and women who were killed in a routine work day and once for shame of the attack. The bombing was directed at a strategic target. The King David Hotel housed the British administrative headquarters and symbolised the British mandate in Palestine, which the Ergon was fighting as part of the Jewish resistance movement. So the Ergon were fighting the British. And Simon is appraising this group which is, by the way, the Ergen are seen as rather fanatical, even by many people who are Jewish. And many people, even at the time of the foundation of Israel, weren't too keen on this lot. They saw them as um, just a tad overzealous, to put it mildly. Um, then you have the, the sergeant's affair, where the Haganah kidnapped two um, NCOs and hung them because they attempted to use them as bargaining chips to get three of their prisoners back. They then, uh, since that, those men weren't returned, and they hung the NCOs and hanged them over ground as booby trap with a landmine. That led to some wonderful anti-Semitic riots all across Britain. I'll leave you this link underneath the video. You can read it, and you can see what it led to. You can see what a silly talk of this kind causes. And you can see where the silly talk Mr. Webb is talking causes when you look at the videos. And then you have the Israel capture of Day Yassin. Now, because I don't want to engage in silly talk of that kind and cause yet another round of anti-Semitic nonsense, I'll just let you leave the link, because otherwise I'll be going to the same low-blow place. And... The such com um, events and conflicts always tend to have numerous actors, and some of them aren't exactly the loveliest people in the world. Just as events in, say, the Irish War of Independence or later in the Trouble had people that, you know, I'd be disassociating myself with very, very quickly <laughs> because there are limits to any set of tactics or any techniques and things that I wouldn't support. It, but it seems Mr. Webb is quite happy to support them as he support, as he has identified himself as a fervent supporter of the Ergid, the most extreme group, the group that was seen as ultra zealous, the group who was seen as basically they didn't care if people were innocent, not innocent. They were just happy to uh, kill anybody and anything if it was in the way. 
Yep, he's come out with this wonderful bit of critique this morning of the SNP leader. I think, Mr. Webb, you seem to be rather hoist with your own petard there. You can, of course, um, respond if you wish. I doubt you will, but it does seem a very strange sort of video to put out if you're going to put out stuff about being a fervent supporter of the Ergon.